Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for my kind of file folder pocket. And for this, all you're going to need is a catalog or a magazine. I've tried with a larger magazine and a catalog size. I prefer the catalog size due to how many pockets you get. Because you can get five with a catalog size and up to eight with a magazine size. So, you can see me here gluing two pages together and I started by taking two pages out because those will be our gussets that will help the file folder expand so right now I'm just gluing another page together because the whole time I will glue two pages together just so it's more sturdy and then we will make the gussets so for the gussets, you're going to fold the paper in half. And I'm using my bone folder to do so, just so I can get a crisp line. But I do some pages without the bone folder, just to show you that you don't have to have that tool to do it. Sorry, you see my cat there trying to be all up on my papers, so. Now I'm just folding the other one in half as well. And then you will glue those together. So when you fold it, it will just be a single gusset and not two. It, this also helps with the sturdiness of the gusset. And then you will fold that in half once you have glued it together and then in half again but only one side and then you will fold it on the other side in half again and your goal here is to create an M or a W shape I personally use the M shape on my Folders, but I have seen people use the W shape that just does not give you as much room to expand and you see me here just repeating those steps once again you do not need a bone folder for this and all you really need is a glue stick and a magazine or a catalog now my favorite catalogs to get are pottery barn catalogs or any kind of clothing catalog because those have really good pages that will work for these projects now in these I'm using some of my mom's teacher magazines and she's a teacher they get a bunch of like I guess they're PR magazines sent to them. So that's what I was using here. But she had already read it and she didn't need any more. And it was on my desk. So I just used that. So I didn't have to go dig into my stash. But once again, I'm sorry for my cat. He's all over the place. But he's been sick today. So he has followed me all around and I could not get him away. Anyways, once you have got both sides, you're going to want to glue one side down to the page on one side. And you're gonna do that for both. And that's where you're gonna choose if you want the M or W shape. I chose the M. And here I am gluing, adding glue to the top of the gusset and you're just gonna fold it over to make your first pocket. And I try to let this dry for 24 hours before I actually use it, just so the glue has enough time to seep in before I start 
putting all my ephemera and other things that I store in it. And what I use these for is about storing my magazine images, which I use for my glue books and flip books and mini albums. So, but you can use it for anything you want. I think I might use one for this fall semester of school just because we have a lot of stuff to do and I have to have a lot of papers but I don't actually need a binder since we're not going to school so I'm just going to be using one of these and there we have our first pocket and I'm just showing you that there and I kind of messed up a little bit that's why I was in the way because I had to like re-glue it because the glue didn't stick so that is what I'm doing there and it's okay if mistakes happen because you can fix them like that time the glue didn't stick and I had to redo it um, but there we have our first pocket actually now that I had to redo it but that's the only time I've messed up and of course when I'm filming that's when I mess up but now we're just going to repeat this process until we get to the decorating part and I will put some music on and be back to force over that.
Okay, so I'm back and I have picked out a paper pad that is kind of black and white because I want to use this for my Halloween Glue 2020 Ephemera Keeper. So I'm just picking out the paper I want to use and this is one of those Hot Buy paper pads from Michaels. 
but I actually found it at a thrift store and I think it's pretty old but I'm not that too sure on that but I picked out this black and white distressed checkerboard kind of thing and the next part I do it's not very fancy at all I don't have a large enough paper trimmer for 12 by 12 sheets which I need to invest in but they did not have one when I went and bought a new one so my other one broke and when I bought a new one they only had the smaller size so I'm just kind of hand free handing this and trying my best to get it straight but I'm basically I just put it on top of the cover and I like marked a pin spot where I could cut and then I just glued it down once I got it just how I wanted it but I did mess up a little bit and not cut enough off so I had to cut that off but once I got it I used my crafters tape which is my favorite adhesive for a rolling adhesive and if you get it I suggest you get it at Walmart because it's six dollars at Walmart and it's like 12 at Hobby Lobby so I get mine at Walmart but that is what I'm using to put the paper on So I'm also using my bone folder to kind of put that down so it, it won't wrinkle. And that's what it looks like on the front. And I'm just basically going to repeat that process on the back. So next in the process, the past two processes have been like really unnecessary. If you just want to leave it as the magazine cover, you can, but I like to add scrapbook paper and magazine cutouts and stickers and stuff. So what you see me doing right now is kind of picking out the images I want to use for the cover. And these pumpkin images I got out of a real simple magazine like last year and I'm just sorting through what images I do have to see which ones I want to use but I actually like having collage images on covers of things 
but this one I chose to use more stickers, but you can do whatever you want. That's, again, personal preference. And I'm sorry I'm all up in the camera. <laughs> I was trying to get some images from the bag, but. Basically, I'm just picking out images and gluing them down where I want them. Once again, this is unnecessary. You don't really have to do this. This isn't required, but I do like doing it for mine. And I suggest doing it if you want it to be pretty, but if you like it how it is, then leave it. That's all up to you.
So I added all the stickers and all the magazine cutouts that I wanted to add and this was the finished product. Um, if you don't like how the magazine images look on the inside, you can always cover those up, but that is going to make the folding process a lot harder. But if you like this tutorial, please give it a like and bye.